Hey guys, today we're back with another initial thoughts review. And today on the channel, we'll be taking a quick look at the Daniel Defense RIS-3 that is supposedly going to be coming out at SHOT Show 2022. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, this will be a pre-shot show 2022 uh, initial thoughts on the Daniel Defense RIS-3, which will be what is believed to be anyway, will be their major uh, product that they're going to be releasing at SHOT Show. They've already announced the 308 AR pistol, I believe, or AR uh, SBR, uh, but one that has not really had much news on it is the new RIS-3 rail and the new pretty much lower and uh, AR all around that will come at SHOT Show 2022. If y'all don't know anything about this, uh, it has been leaked just a tad bit. I think Colin Noir had a picture of one up for a little bit, and I think it's recently been taken down after that. And uh, there's one of Daniel showing a picture of... Uh, are saying that they're going to be at SHOT Show 2022, and in the background you can see a light picture of the uh, RIS-3 and the Ambi Lower. So that being said, the RIS-3 will be, from what I can tell, be a full M-Lock rail, or at least, you know, on a 14.5 rail, it will probably be a 13-inch um, a rail, and on a 10.3 barrel, it will probably be a 9-inch rail, such as the Mark 8, or a 10-inch rail, such as Mark 18 or I think this one, that one was 9-inch, maybe somewhere around there. Anyway, um, from what I can tell, though, it uh, they're replacing the Picatinny rail RIS-2 with a uh, M-Lock rail RIS-3. So they have multiple, multiple uh, M-Lock rails to begin with. I've had uh, four Daniels now with uh, M-Lock rails on them. They're very high quality built, but they're not built up to the durability and strength as the RIS-2. Um, and now, from what I can tell with the slight pictures that's been released and leaked out, is that this uh, M-Lock rail will be as not as bulky, but looks to me as strengthened as a RIS-2. From what I can tell, it has very strong angles in it. It's not going to be a more rounded uh, M-Lock rail. It's going to be an actual... Uh, either a uh, pentagon or a uh, octagon, depending on if they want to go with eight sides on it. I'm not for certain myself, but just from what I can remember with the pictures, because I can no longer find that, uh, it was actually posted on a uh, Facebook page called Daniel Defense Owners, if y'all want to check that out if you're into that stuff. But from what I can tell, though, it looked to be very, very strong. And the, one of the biggest things with it is now going to have an ambi lower, such as what LMT or Knight's Armament makes. And be lowers is something that uh, a lot of people like. I'm right-handed, so most right-handed ARs work with me pretty well. One thing I do like about them, though, is bolt catch or release. Sometimes release, but most of the time it's a. I mean, most of the time it's release, but sometimes it's also a bolt catch. On like Knights Armament SR15, it's not a bolt catch, just a bolt release. But uh, I like that part of it. Yes, will a $30 uh, Magpul bad lever do the same thing? And if not, be a tad bit quicker? Probably. But I like the design of it and everything else. And plus, it brings it to a lot wider audience instead of just right-handed people. Uh, or having to make a left-handed person shoot a right-handed person's gun. But either way it goes, it's a very interesting design from what I can tell with just the leaks. Like I said, there's only two pictures right now, pre-SHOT Show 2022, of these uh, rails and this gun. But from what I can tell, I've actually talked to an inside source with Daniel. And from what I uh, was told, don't know if this is supposed to be leaked or not, but from what I was told, there's going to be a Mark 18 variant with a 10-3 barrel. There's going to be a DDM4A1 with a 14.5 inch barrel, which will probably be the M4A1, just like the RIS-2 M4A1, but this will be the RIS-3 with the M-Lock, and then there's supposed to be a 16-inch variant as well. I'm not for certain if they're going to push out that M4 uh, barrel a tad bit to hit the 16-inch mark so you don't have to have a pin and welded uh, muzzle device, or if possibly that they have actually made a new uh, type of barrel or they're just using a government 16-inch barrel. I'm not for certain as is right now, but... Uh, 
if they're going to do an M4A1 variant, I'd say it's going to have M4 profile barrel. The only thing that kind of strikes me weird is that I'm not for certain right now how it will bolt up on the bottom to where it will be slick all around. Because in the picture I seen, if I can remember right, the, uh, the handguard was a one piece. I might be wrong on that. It might be just deceiving the way the picture was took. But it looked to me like it was a one piece, so you cannot uh, attach a... Uh, M203 grenade launcher like any of us owned it in the first place, but that was one of the big things about the RIS-2 that uh, if it was sold to, by military contract on the uh, SOCOM Block 2 models, it would uh, have that place to where you can actually put an M203 grenade launcher on it, which was somewhat interesting, but overall, guys, I've actually owned now four firearms with the RIS-2 rail, and I've owned uh, six RIS-2 rails altogether. Uh, the four that I've owned is, uh, one of them was the Mark 18 by Daniel Defense 10-3. I also owned two DDM4A1s, and I've owned a, uh, let's see here, what was it? Is the M4A1 Colt 16-inch uh, variant with the uh, full-length, uh, or not full-length, but the 13-inch uh, RIS-2 rail on it. So it was a full 16-inch SOCOM barrel. Very nice gun, but the bad thing about the uh rail is that it adds a lot of weight to your gun i can remember one of the other daniels uh, that i had that was a 14.5 government barrel pin and welded and it had an m-lock rail on it and it was pretty thin but you could take that thing and just i mean push it out to wherever you want to go left right up down and it would not throw you with weight it was just very very agile and i liked the gun a lot to be honest with you all and from what I can tell, this one right here will be a heavy rail, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be one of their lighter rails such as your normal uh, M-lock rails that they have right now, but it will be a M-lock rail that will not bend, it will not dent, it will not do anything except what it was designed to do, and that was to stay sturdy and have strength with it. And that's what I, something I find very interesting is that, is that something that we needed, possibly, but at the same time, I like the design of it, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But I appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next video.